what do we have here? Barely hold it up. It's gonna take both hands to hold this one up. There's one right there at the end of my stick. And then there's that one right there, the end of the stick. You won't believe the ammonite I just found laying here on the surface. We get this video to 5,000 likes. One of you will own this. Welcome back to another adventure here at Ammonite Creek. I am your host, the Diamond Miner. I brought the kayak with me today. I've got the big hole patched on it. So I hope it's patched. I'm going to test it out for sure in the water. On this adventure, we're gonna head downstream and see if we can't find a couple complete ammonites and other type of huge fossils. Still no rain. We are going on three months without any rain in this area. Ammonite Creek has completely stopped running. There is no water flowing down the creek. I have walked these gravel bars several times and it's just getting to be really thin picking. Until we can get that really good hard rain that'll get all of this gravel tumbling and flipping over and washing new fossils out of the cliff. It's just gonna be thin picking until we get that really good hard rain that we're desperately needing. And if you'd like to see more videos here at Ammonite Creek, be sure and leave a thumbs up. You know, I try to do my best out here as naming fossils. I'm not a fossil guy. I'd never really sat down and studied fossils. I'm a diamond miner. I can definitely tell you if you have a diamond or not. Man, it's so grown up. <laughs> Hope I can even get the kayak through this jungle. All right, the kayak made it across the pool. Looks like my patchwork is working. All that got knocked out and had a big hole right here. Cool, now we can get downstream. Hopefully find a couple good ammonites to give away. Not too far into this adventure. I found this ammonite right here in this rock. I've already tapped it with my hammer. And you can see it's broken free. Let's see what we're going to get out of this one. Oh my gosh, yes! Woo! Complete ammonite. And we just started the hunt. I'm five minutes into it, guys. Look at the detail on that one. Let's get this video up to 1,000 likes within two days of being uploaded, and one of you will win this. Leave a comment, like the video, don't forget to share it out. Incredible. Since I'm not too far from the kayak, I'll go ahead and put this one in the kayak. A lot of weight, I don't want to carry too much weight. Yeah, you know what? It's kind of chipped on that end right there. Yeah, I'll probably just throw it in the water. Yeah, I didn't want it. So I was walking over here. I set down my safety meeting pin and I can't find it. I noticed these. This was actually on the ground. Nice rounded type ammonite. I know it's not an ammonite, it's some other word that I can't remember. And then right over here, yep, do you see it? Right there. Oh my gosh, look at this. Yeah! Oh my gosh, a complete ammonite. That's about the size I like to give to my patrons. That and a little bit bigger when you sign up as an element and gemstone collector incredible i can't believe this was just sitting here i have walked by this 10 times now it's all about the angle got to be at the right angle
at the rapids normally there's rapids here all of this is now dried up i don't recall this being so dried up I might be able to find some goodies right in here oh look here's one yep this is normally underwater so we might find a complete ammonite Whew, that was a close call we have it looks like two water moskins right here I almost stepped on that one guys gotta be really careful out here right there that's a water moth skin and there's two of them there's one right there there's one right there at the end of my stick and then there's that one right there at the end of the stick two water moth skins right here You gotta be really careful. Now let's back on up out of here. We don't want to go over here. Wow, two water moth skins just sitting right there. I almost stepped on that big one, and he was waiting for me. He could, he could see me coming. I didn't see him. I don't know if I want to keep going on this adventure. It's we need some rain. We need that hard rain. Wash, get all this stuff washed away like snakes. I may just hang around this gravel bar. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Nice giant taco. Oh, yep. A detail on both sides. That'd be a good one to cut. Or just leave it like this. Just to cut it, it would maybe keep some books together on your bookshelf. You won't believe the ammonite I just found laying here on the surface. Yep, right there. I have walked over this one many times. Oh my gosh. Detail on both sides. Got a crack. Not all the way through right there. That's okay. Now that's a giveaway ammonite right there that's a big one if we can get this video up to 5,000 likes within one week of being uploaded one of you that leaves a comment will win this found something Look, we have an ammonite right there and you can see it's kind of cracked from that mud I should be able to tap that with my hammer or do that right there but yeah it's just not the best detail all right broke off pretty good Not far from the last one we may have something right here oh yeah it's a ammonite real faded not much on that side but you know that's still an ammonite what do we have here that's a big uh, fossil there man what the heck does that look like? Wow, check out this huge fossil. Man, that thing is massive. I can barely hold it up. It's gonna take both hands to hold this one up. Massive fossil. You can see right there how big it is. Is this a huge dinosaur? You know what? I noticed 
this right here. Yep, looks like it's a complete ammonite and a pretty good size one too. Need to make sure there's not a snake under there. Oh my gosh, look at that. I got a spider. Not the best detail, but it's definitely a little different. Oh wow, look at what was underneath it. A bunch of little centipedes. Wow. Gosh, I can't believe that was just sitting there. Not the best detail, but it's a big ammonite. This is where I'm at. Currently walking through all this water. Trying to get up to this gravel bar. It's just shallow enough. I say that, it's starting to get deeper. I'm gonna step up here on the, okay. Huge ammonite on the other on the other side oh my gosh look at this one huge ammonite on this side it's like half of one oh my gosh guys another big ammonite i think we're getting to the big ammonites look another one that is a massive ammonite over there Right now I'm trying not to fall in this uh, snake infested water. <clears throat> this water coming out of the cliffs. I cannot see the bottom. It appears to be shallow. Ammonite right there. Right there's one. All right. We finally made it to a gravel bar that I've never been to. And if I've been to this, it's been a long time. This is the second one that I have found. A rock that's rounded like this this may have its shape from tumbling down the creek for hundreds if not thousands of years but then this could be a Native American artifact something they made and used it fits really good in your hand and it's so flat that it could almost grind corn or some type of Oh, almost like it was used for something. Working my way back to the kayak, and we have two complete ammonites. I was going to show you one, and as soon as I push the play button, I see another one over here. First, let's check out this one. And there may be another one. Let me keep an eye out. This is normally underwater right here. So it finally has dried up, revealing this complete ammonite look at this all this time it's been underwater oh my gosh it's yeah complete ammonite that's a good size to give away to my that's a little bit big i think this will have to go to a youtube giveaway let's get this video up to 1000 likes within two days of being uploaded one of you that leaves a comment will win this winners announced on my facebook page so i noticed this one here and then right up here i noticed the ammonite i'm gonna set this one right here for now and then right here we have another one look at that two ammonites oh yes <laughs> they got detail on that side as well <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> Oh, such a fun day. <laughs> Man. I have looked over these gravel bars so many times. No rain in months. 
and I'm still finding ammonites. Just think, once we get a good rain and all this grass can get knocked down and all these rocks get tumbled and flipped, oh, it's going to be good. Wow, two ammonites right there. That one's pretty nasty. I'll leave it out of my bag for now. Wash it off with some clean water, some nasty water. Yep, something told me to come over here, and I'm glad I trust my gut. This morning I went that way. I didn't find any ammonites. I found two venomous, poisonous, same thing, snakes. Two water moskins just hanging out over here. I don't see them in the water anymore. Yeah, they're right up in that puddle. Great. Like I said, I don't see them. So that means they could be uh they could be over here. Let's get up over here. Yeah, they're right up here this morning. Yep. Those two snakes were right there. Looks like they've moved on. Where to? That's a good question. You know what guys? We are way overdue for a safety meeting. Now let's take a look at everything that I saved. Incredible day at Ammonite Creek, I would say. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven complete ammonites. One of them is a little rough. Incredible day. Really good detail on some of these. Several banana shaped ammonites. And we got a couple tacos. This one has incredible detail. That's why I saved it. And so does this one. Well, that's gonna wrap it up for this adventure here at Ammonite Creek. We found several complete ammonites. I was not expecting to do this well on this adventure. You never know. You just gotta trust your gut and get out there and keep searching. And you'll be surprised what you'll find. These droughts are really helping. It's a bad time for everybody, but the droughts are exposing areas that have always been underwater and revealing very nice fossils. We only saw three snakes. I didn't get the little grass snake on video, but we saw two venomous slash poisonous. Venom is toxic. Toxic is poison. If you'd like to see me come out here and look for gold, be sure and leave a comment below. This winter, I'll bring some gold equipment out here and see if we can't find some of that shiny yellow metal. I hope you all enjoyed the adventure here at Ammonite Creek. Until next time, Thanks for watching and take care, everybody. Not good. Looks like I am stuck at Ammonite Creek. I need to find some firewood. Get a little campfire built over here. Probably sleep over here tonight. Not good. Not good. Four by four is out on the old farm truck. My truck's in the shop. And I was not aware of the 4x4 being out, or I would not have come on to the gravel bar. And we are due for rain in a couple of days. I've got to get this truck out of here. I am stranded. Too bad those big YouTube channels won't come out here and save me.